That's Edgar Bennett off the left tackle. Gets hit hard, but picks up about five or six yards on the play. This time goes in motion to the right. Far with a quick toss, and it's caught by Ingram. And he is out of bounds, but it's sufficient for a Packer first down. Ball is at the 41. And again, Bennett in motion. Far to throw, and it's tipped off of Samura, and an interception by the Lions. And it's Willie Clay with the ball. Willie Clay gets inside the 30-yard line, and a big turnover gives the Lions a great opportunity. First start at tight end. Second down and seven. Mitchell gets hit, but first he completes to Perriman. And Perriman, who's having a terrific year, gets inside the 10-yard line and a first down. Doug Evans to tackle and a gain of 17 yards. Being followed by Doug Evans. Mitchell's pass is caught by Moore. Touchdown line. But you're going to watch Herman Moore. He's working on Doug Evans. Now he's going to push him and get the inside position. You see how he got Evans to commit to the outside just with that one step underneath. There's no help in the middle of the field, and that gives him six. Moore with his seventh touchdown catch of the year. So the welcome to the Pontiac Silverdome. For those of you joining us for the game between the Packers and the Lions. The nice job by Mike Johnson. He tips the ball, and Willie Clay comes up with the pick. Just gets his fingers underneath. And then, of course, that led to the big play from Herman Moore. So watch the protection up front. Mitchell have lots of time to stand in that pocket. He's able to find Herman Moore, who works back underneath of Doug Evans and gets in for six. Here's Edgar Bennett quickly off the line of scrimmage. And Bennett picks up about four. Robert Massey making the tackle. Robert. Here's Bennett again. He'll be short by about three yards for the first down. Third and three, four wide receivers for Green Bay. And on the running play, good call by Brett Favre and the Packers. And Edgar Bennett has a first down going up the middle and a gain of 13. Willie Clay, the free safety on the tackle. And he'll show the run. And Edgar Bennett, who's a better runner on grass than he is on turf, but looked good on that play. Pressure on Favre and Dorsey Levins on the screen pass. Gets into Lions territory and picks up 11 yards and very close to the first down. Jackson in motion. Brett Favre is going deep for Ingram and it's intercepted by Willie Clay. That's his second interception of this first quarter. And he brings it back to the Lions 40-yard line. Brett Favre never saw Willie Clay playing center field. And Willie Clay is just hanging in the middle. He's reading far up the whole way. Lions. Lions get the ball back on their 41. Give it to Barry Sanders. Slips by a couple of tackles, two or three, and brings it out to midfield. Pass out to Mark Ingram. And he is written out of bounds by Corey Raymond. Edgar Bennett running room off the left side and gets inside the 40-yard line. Mike Johnson going for the tackle and this gain of seven yards. Different schemes in the last several years. Second down and three. And close to the first down is Edgar Bennett. Chris Spielman making the tackle. Of course, coming into this game, the weak point of the Lions defense has been their secondary. Gets by a defender and slides for the first down to the 42-yard line of the Lions. It's on first down on the 44-yard line. And the handoff to Edgar Bennett. And Bennett very nearly gets another first down. Bieber. His total yards could be impressive. Second down and one. The pass caught for the first down with Mark Ingram. And he gets to about the 20-yard line before Corey Raymond brings him down. Member of the Giants back in 88, but suffered a broken collarbone. First down from the 20 yard line, and Bennett getting off the line of scrimmage. Second down and four on the 14 yard line. Here is Edgar Bennett going outside, and he'll have a first down before Benny Blaze pulls him down. Massey was also there. 
And there's Edgar Bennett. He's not going to get there. He gets about a yard, and that will be the last play of the first quarter as Mike Johnson stopped Edgar Bennett. And that is the end of the first quarter here at the Silver Dome in Pontiac with the Lions leading the Packers 7 to nothing. Five the previous week, and this is a 20 yard attempt at chip shot. And the kick is good. So the Packers score their first points of the game on the first play of the second quarter. 7 to 3, Detroit. Flying for the Lions. Scott Mitchell, the quarterback, and Barry Sanders, their running back. This will be a pass on first down, and the pass is caught by Herman Moore. And the penalty marker down as Moore headed for the end zone. And he'll get there, but there's a flag down upfield. Side of the field as he works on Newsom, 21. Work him up outside, then come back underneath. Now, at the end of this thing, you see that kind of a pick right there? Watch Brett Perriman. He's the key to this whole thing. Evans has a chance to run him down, and there comes Perriman that secures the touchdown. So many, so many times you measure a receiver about what he does with his hands and the ball. I like to measure a receiver about what he does when he doesn't have the ball, and I think Perriman is one of the best. Two touchdown receptions has eight on the year, and the Detroit Lions have opened up a 14-3 lead over the Green Bay Packers. Keith Jackson in the game of tight end, replacing Shimura here, first and 10 on the 25. Deep drop by Brett Favre, underneath to Dorsey Levins. And Levins with Mike Johnson on his back is close to a first down and he has the first down second down 10 pressure on farm and lemons again with the reception and it'll still be third down and long as lemons gets a six yards out of it mcneil the tackle and four plenty of time for farm he's got ingram Ingram spins around and has the first down as he gets into Lion territory. Henry Thomas downfield. Henry Thomas, they, they came with a blitz, his own blitz, and they dropped Henry Thomas back in coverage. Tackle him in the front end, try to get him with the back end. Penalty down against the Lions. And I think that's what they called. I think they called that trip on, uh, on Henry Thomas. And that's going to... Give the Packers some more yardage. Far with a short drop and the pass to Brooks. And Brooks has a first down for the Packers. Benny Blades defending. You know, Favre made the two mistakes, uh, the, the interceptions. One was a tip, so you can't put that one on him. But right now, I mean, he settled right back into his game. And I Shamora in motion on first down, and the pass is drilled to Brooks, who makes a fine catch. Hey, Brooks picked off. Corey Raymond. fumbles it and unless he stepped out of bounds and apparently he did it's going to be Lions ball Favre just drills this thing Brooks goes down to get it and then all of a sudden he and Raymond come up there it goes down heck that looks like a pick I think it is the ball never touched the ground watch Chamora here come from the side see how he tried to slap it Goes down for the pick. Here it goes. Hands in there. I didn't see it touch the ground at all. Watch Chamora come from the side. See, he knew he was trying to try to get a turnover. He slapped that thing out. The ball was intercepted, and then the player was down by contact. First down. Scott Mitchell's pass to Barry Sanders out of the backfield. Jukes, one defender. Gets a rise out of the crowd as another flag goes down. Barry Sanders with his first spectacular play with a 20-yard catch and run. Time you can get that guy in the Face open field. By the defense, the five-yard penalty only, first down. And anytime you can get Barry Sanders in the open field with, with room to work, he's going to hurt you. Two weeks ago, now he's going to run with the ball. George T. finally makes the grab from behind and then all of a sudden he loses the other team on a 70 yard scamper second and one three wide receivers up the middle and C 
Sanders gets to the 40 yard line. George Coons is there, but it's a first down for the Lions. Shoulders lowered them and bolt for a first down. Packers still have the edge in rushing yardage. First down from the 41. Scott Mitchell. Throw. And a catch. And the catch is made by Johnny Morton, who has emerged as yet another wide receiver threat. Like trivia question of who was the last NFC Central Division quarterback to lead the NFL in touchdown passes was Lynn Dickey of the Packers who threw 32 touchdown scores back in 1983. Scott Mitchell is thrown and dropped by Kuntz, who came in without any resistance from the Lions. No one picked up George Kuntz. What a nice call. Gracie Scroggins back in the lineup for the Lions on first down. And a looping pass to Levins. And a good tackle made by Benny Blades. Slam pattern to Brooks. Chased by Willie Clay, and Blades misses it from behind. And Robert Brooks in a foot race. Boy, was that a touchdown. Shot. What a great play by Robert Brooks. That's one of the great runs after a catch of the year in the NFL. 77 yards. Shoulder that he was getting chased by Massey on the backside, and then just kicked it in another gear. Watch how he gets from behind, right here. Blades misses the tackle there. Now, see how he knows where Chamorro is. So he take care of that one. Now he sees and feels Massey to the left side. And then he just hits that second gear. Boy, that was, that was fun. And then you just let your receivers do the rest. This is just, just great awareness. He runs away from the one defender, tries to cut back. Now, Blades, that's a terrible job by Blades. You have to make the tackle. And then the awareness. See how he feels it coming from the left. And then he just hits that other gear, and then that puts him in the end zone. Six touchdown catch of the year for Robert Brooks. And if you're wondering how much the Packers miss Sterling Sharp, well, Brett Favre has spread it around, and Brooks has picked up a good deal of the slack. Well, that's a great job. I mean, there's so much to be said for that kinesthetic sense, you know, your body part awareness. As Blades was coming over the top, he just kind of just kind of frumped them on by. And you wonder about Sterling Sharp. Let's compare what he did through eight games with Robert Brooks. Draw play to Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders. And the Lions come right back with it, and Sanders puts a charge back in the crowd. Sanders from the back uh, lets his blockers develop. See, he just takes his time, a little step outside. See, that allows Simmons to go outside. Then he comes back in. And then you just turn the speed once you get to that second level of the defense. Nice job by McGill of getting on his horse and dragging him down. That was a 37-yard rush. <laughs> Mitchell to Moore. And Moore to the 35, where Doug Evans wraps him up. Poor tackling allows for more of a pickup. Mike Pryor is going in for Leroy Butler, who's hurt. Second and two. For the first down of the 25-yard line, again, it's Herman Moore. And we're down to the two-minute warning. With 154 officially on the clock, the Lions over the Packers, 14 to 10. First down for Detroit on the Green Bay 25. Mitchell under siege, fires it, and nearly intercepted. Brett Perriman is claiming that he was held. It was George Teague defending, and he's slow getting up. From the 25 with a minute and 40 seconds to go in the half. Scott Mitchell, nowhere to go, and Darius Holland, who started today's game with Gabe Wilkins hurt, the rookie from Colorado, gets the second sack of the game for Green Bay. And that's, that's a, a coverage sack right there. They had no place to throw that football. Here we go. Here we go. Mitchell going for more. He beat the rookie that time, Craig Newsom. That was just a lack of awareness of where the ball was for Newsom because he was right on his cover. And able to get that ball off, in order to get that off, you have to have protection. And he has enough time to throw that thing up there. Now watch with the ball. Watch Herman Moore. Watch his awareness of the ball. See how he stops, lets it go by. Newsom is right there. Herman Moore with her. All pro Herman Moore, who has three touchdown catches. Barb to Bennett, blocking in front of him on the screen, and brings it.
it to the 35 yard line. It'll be third down and short. Touchdown play. Third down and three. The pass up the middle is caught by Ingram. And he is down at midfield. Clock continues to run. Hurry up for the Packers. The key number, eight seconds remaining in the first half. Barnes' pass is caught. And they can't get out of bounds in time. And the timer is going to run out. Robert Brooks made the catch. Trying to get out of bounds and couldn't, and that will end the first half. That is the end of the first half. Here in Pontiac with the score, the Lions 21 and the Packers 10. Stay tuned for the Dockers halftime as Fox NFL Sunday continues after these messages from your local Fox station. Edgar Bennett cutting up field. Nice job by Frank Winters in there. Good blocking by the center and a first down by Bennett. Well, Wayne Fonts, since he has been coach of the Lions, has struggled in the first seven games of the season. Go to the well, though. First down on the 38. Far up the middle of the Splits the defenders and is close to a first down near midfield. Chris Spielman on this play. Maybe more ideal in a 3-4 alignment. Second and one. Give us to Levins, first down as he pushes the pile into Lion territory. A fall apart all over the place. Oh, he's been involved in a lot of plays, hasn't he? Here's Bennett on first down. And he picks about eight or nine. Brian McNeil makes the tackle, and right now the Packers are moving the ball with screens, middle screens, and draw plays. Yeah, it's Burroughs virtually even, second down and one on the 39 of the Lions. This should be enough for the first down as Bennett approaching 100 yards and we have only a little more than five minutes gone by in this third quarter. Giving the Niners a big battle. Third down and seven. Far looking for a receiver and he's going for the end zone to Brooks and it's knocked down by Ryan McNeil on a fine play by the cornerback. Fumble would bring the Packers to within eight. And Jackie's kick is up and good. Chris Jackie connects on a 50-yard field goal. And the Packers, on their first possession of the second half, have narrowed the lead to 21-13. to Well, he killed this thing. From 50 yards, he had another 10 on the other end of it. Chicago Bears, who offensively right now are playing as well as anybody in the league. First down on the 38-yard line. Deep drop, and Dorsey Levins out of the backfield. And Levins may be short of a first down by a half a yard. Benny Blades was covering. Choking to learn how to punch. Second and one, here is Edgar Bennett. And he dives into Lion territory for a Packer first down. Luther Ellis was there on the stop. Has nothing to show for anything today. Second and 10. Edgar Bennett with good yardage. He, like Barry Sanders, have gotten some tough inside yards in this game. And Mark Shimura with his first reception of the game. And that's a Packer first down out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Benny Blades defending. You know, I think there's a little irony there that that's the first pass that a tight end in this offense has caught. Getting down 10. Quick toss to Bennett. Shakes a defender. Penalty flag down. Yeah, it looks like a face mask there, a five yarder, which will give him a first down. Running the ball effectively. Face mask by the defense, number 95. It's a five yard penalty only. First down. High following the penalty. Far swings it out to Keith Jackson. And Jackson with his first catch as a Green Bay Packer. Gives Green Bay a first down just outside the 10 with Raymond coverage. And again, I said when this defense is playing well, it's because Henry Thomas is playing well. You can third down and 10. Barb throws it away. Brooks was well covered back there by Ryan McNeil. That'll be fourth down, and the Packers will have to settle for a field goal attempt. 
And the kick perfect. And the Packers come within five with a minute 45 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Sanders continually running up the middle more than we've seen him in recent years. <laughs> it's not a good thing. Man, doesn't look like good. it. It looks like it's 46 yards. Well, I'll give you a hint. Third down and 15. Long pass and slipping was Herman Moore. He fell down. Newsom was covering him. And another flag is down. Bugaboo. Personal foul. That's a real bugaboo if it's yeah. a first down, which All, it should Yeah, be. exactly. An automatic first. has Herman Moore. Boy, Herman Moore turned Newsom completely around and out. He's been there for all the big plays the Lions have needed today. That one good for 22 yards. That time he had the safety over the tap where he wanted to watch how he turns Newsom around. Newsom looking back inside, knows that he has help. Watch the move by Moore. See how he turns him around, comes right back in underneath. There's a safety help sitting there, but it didn't do him any good. From the 39 of the Packers, a draw to Sanders. Barry Sanders up the middle. And a big gain. And right now for a McDonald's game break, 100-yard gain. Second and two. Barry will get it right there. What a dynamo. I have not seen Barry Sanders play this kind of power football, really, ever. Get the ball to the hands of guys who want it and play better when they have it. A third and nine. That pass is caught by Barry Sanders out of bounds, short of the first down by about four yards. Newsom and Wayne Simmons were defending. Yeah. Jason Hansen with a 37-yard field goal, and the Lions get three back, and it's now 24 to 16. Three. to the 40-yard line, a big gain, and a first down. And right now, let's send you to James Brown in our Hollywood studio. Lost today. Well, the Niners can take a one-game lead as Brooks on the outside makes the play with Ryan McNeil, the tackle, and a gain of six. Second and four. There's Edgar Bennett looking for running room. And he gets to midfield and has a first down for the Packers. Mike Johnson stops him. Fox. Second down and seven from the 46. There's a reverse to Brooks. And Brooks will be short by about three yards. McNeil and Spielman on the tackle. You know, getting back to Edgar Bennett. Third and three. Here's Bennett out of the backfield. And a first down for the Packers. Very patient offense by Green Bay in the second half. Safety blitz, but they get it off to Bennett. Far finds Bennett, and he's got a first down and out of bounds. Instead of the sack and the blitz by Corey Raymond, Robert Massey finally brings down Bennett after a gain of 20 yards. That first down on the 17 for Green Bay. Trailing by eight, and here's Bennett on the draw play, and Edgar Bennett gets to the 12-yard line. Blades and Johnson. Green Bay threatening here as we wind down to 440 remaining in the fourth quarter. Bennett in motion. Far pass is caught by Shimura and he gets to the five yard line. Farm on the rollout is hit. Loses the ball and is picked up by Spielman. And the Lions will get it back. Big turnover. I think that's going to be an interception. Watch how he comes. Scroggins coming off the corner hard. He's going to set. Scroggins never quits. Ball comes forward. It pops up in the air. Luther Ellis tries to get it. Spielman takes it. That is the fourth interception. That's a fumble. But it's the fourth turnover and a huge one against the Packers. Green Bay has all three of their timeouts remaining. Darius Holland might have jumped in. Barry Sanders spurts away. Big play by Sanders. Flag down at the line of scrimmage. Well, that's going to be on Darius Holland, and that's going to be 
Another 40 yard run or so by Barry Sanders. To Sanders again breaks one. Bounces to the outside and is stopped for another first down in the 41 of the Packers. McGill on the stop. That one good for 16. 100 yards amassed by both teams. First down on the 40. Here is Barry Sanders again. Breaks off left tackle and has another Lions first down. Uh, now he's up to about 160. Quick acceleration gets inside the 20 yard line and another first down for Detroit. Leroy Butler on the tackle. That game was nine. And he'll probably smile and say, You're right. So Wayne Fonts, with a lot of pressure on him, wins the game he has to win. Final score the Lions 24, Packers 16. We'll be right back.